Well, welcome, welcome to the new uh, redesigned room 42 at MHS. And this is, as we walked in the room, this is the command central, or that's at least what they tease me and call it. And uh, this is just kind of where everything takes place on my end with my uh, big new globe there hanging above. So we can use that as a visual reference. We got lots of new storage here. All these cabinets were designed for the classroom to provide a lot of storage. We have lots of rocks and minerals and fossils and samples. And this makes it really easy to categorize them all and keep them all organized. All right, up here we have a little more storage. That's a stream table. So when we learn about rivers and streams, we'll use that to simulate stream flow. Over here in the cabinets, we have a lot of stuff on display, starting with uh, roughly categorized as minerals, right? The building blocks of rocks, which we have in the other display cabinets. And then toward the end, we have some fossils and other examples of geologic evidence that we use in class when we talk about all the different principles of geology. Uh, we have these awesome portable cabinets here on wheels that also have a lot of storage for us to use. These can be set up so we could have particular labs uh, already set up, ready to go. You just pull the tray, set it out for the students. Uh, we have lab tables now instead of a combination of desks and lab tables. Uh, I think it allows for really good flow. We do a lot of moving in this classroom, a lot of picking up samples, moving around, testing things. So it has a good traffic pattern. So far, so good anyway. And we have these really comfy seats. So even though you're sitting at a lab table, you still have a, um, a comfy chair to take notes on our new uh, whiteboard and uh, projector combo over here. So uh, one of the nice things about this is I can project on a whiteboard or if it's something uh, that needs projected on a screen, we have a retractable screen, which I love. Just affords us a lot of different ways to present information. A lot of whiteboards in here, so there's a lot of places we can put uh, standards, objectives, all kinds of cool things that may aid in the lesson of the day or uh, in the overall you know, objectives for the whole unit. These cabinets are all specialty cabinets as well. This one's designed to hold maps. Uh, so it has very deep drawers that pull out and allow us to store all of our maps. Everything's not quite organized yet, still moving in, uh, but lots of good storage. Larger stuff I keep up top, like parts of telescopes that just won't fit in cabinets. This is just general lab storage, right? Pretty well organized, but we're still working on all that too. Uh, got a, three shallow sinks for all of our water needs for laboratories. Uh, we also have a really deep sink that hasn't gone in yet over in the corner there where we're gonna have uh, four, you know, fill in five gallon buckets and other things that we use in the class. I like that a lot of our stuff is displayed with glass cabinets, so if the students have questions, they can certainly ask and it's at their fingertips. We can open the cabinet and take a look at it before a lot of our stuff was packed away and wasn't always easy to have out at a moment's notice, so this makes it a lot more functional. Uh, the class will have a laptop uh, lab. The laptops are over here now, and that will be the future charging cabinet for those. And so we use uh, specialized software for both uh, earth science and space science. So that'll allow them to utilize the classroom and not necessarily have to check out a lab. Uh, so that is a really nice advantage that we have in this classroom as well. So besides the awesome layout, new equipment, um, the room is just really set up uh, for an earth science class, you know, at its best. I really like the arrangement. Students seem to like it. Um, it's working and we are moving in slowly but surely and making use of all this great new space.